Hey, are you all right? I'm okay, I guess. Just okay? Yeah, there's much room for improvement. I'm going to leave. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, today is a remarkable day, isn't it? The answer is yes, because I just remarked on it. What are you wearing? No, this isn't some strange text message from a guy you met one time three years ago. I want to know what armor you have on. Fashion matters in this game above all else. Some people say get good, I say look good. And so today, Today I'll be showing you all another six armor sets you absolutely do not want to miss on your journey through Elden Ring. Without further ado, first up comes the Crucible Tree Knight armor set. This is another Crucible Knight set in the game, but this one has a different shaping and the helmet has branches coming out of it like antlers. It's very pretty, relatively high weight armor as you'd expect from armor this thick, but worth it when it looks this good. To acquire this armor set for yourself, you'll have to reach the deep root depths region of the game, which is done either by progressing the Rani quest line enough to reach Nokron, the Eternal City, or through the bottom of the sewers in Lindell. For the Nokron entrance, head to the Ancestral Woods site of Grace, and then head more or less north until you reach a more obvious giant stone structure known as the Siofra Aqueduct. This place is quite straightforward, so just walk through it to the end, reach the boss room that is there, and defeat the boss within. Then at the back of said room will be a coffin. Weird request, but uh, get in the coffin? After this, you'll have a really weird hallucination and then wake up in the deeper depths. Continue along westward through the level until you reach the nameless Eternal City, site of Grace, then head immediately west. Jump down this cliff and head up the Spirit Spring in front of you, and there will be a boss that spawns in front of this tree. However, they are not required for this armor set. Either dispatch of the boss or ignore them, your choice, then run inside of the tree and open the chest to find for yourself the Crucible Tree Knight armor set. Secondly is something a bit funkier, the Mushroom Set. This armor, well, it pretty much speaks for itself, but if it didn't quite get it across, it makes you essentially into a human mushroom farm, growing out of every which way part of your naked body. If you like mushrooms, this set is awesome. If you don't like mushrooms, you'll probably be creeped out. Personally, I think mushrooms are super pretty. I mean, it's something about the gills. Anyways, back to the armor set itself. The really notable thing about this armor is that it has the highest immunity stat of anything in the game. So if you are being constantly bothered by status effects, then you might want to consider wearing this bad boy around. To get it for yourself, head to the Seethwater Cave up in Mount Gelmir. It costs Stone Sword Keys to get in, and once you do, starting at the side of Grace, head down and left, make another big drop, and follow the path forwards. Turn left in the big opening towards the entrance with light coming through, keep going forwards, and once again drop further down. Progress further along the dark area filled with rats to go to the back right corner, then take an immediate right to find a giant pink flower and some mushroom men, behind which lays the mushroom set for you. Well, I'm most of the mushroom set. This armor set has an alternate helmet, the mushroom crown, as opposed to the mushroom helmet, as it is in a different place. First, you have to unlock the Lake of Rot region, which is once again done through the Rani storyline. We have a full video on that quest line if you do need any help with it, but once in the Lake of Rot, progress pretty much directly south, just a touch of east until you reach this sunken stone structure way in the back. Use the fallen architecture to climb up the back of it, jump across to the big square in the middle and then onto a pillar in the middle of said square is a corpse holding your crown, your highness. Third, then, today will be the Errant Sorcerer set. The robes themselves are a bit plain, but the coloring is nice. The hands are a bit unique as they give you little plates almost like bits of scales on your hands. And then the helmet is a glintstone crown, specifically this helmet which raises your intelligence and endurance by two each at the cost of 10% of your FP bar. The helmet itself is pretty badass too. The bandana blindfold, the stone beard, the big black crystal for a brain, it's quite the unique look. To acquire this set for yourself, you'll need to head to the Hermit Village on the path up through Mount Gelmir. From the entrance to the area, walk behind the first house on the right to find the helmet by itself, and then continue onwards to the back left of the town to find a half-destroyed building with a corpse inside holding the chest, arms, and legs of the errant sorcerer armor set all for you. Fourth up comes the Moray armor set. One of the tiniest sets in the game is an only consists 
consists of two different pieces, but those two pieces will cover up most of your body anyways, being the robes and the mask. The robes themselves are quite pretty, a very nice design on the cuffs and the edges, a nice frilled shawl around the neck, and of course the helmet. Worth noting, wearing this helmet gives you a bonus one to your arcane. That's right, an entire extra one attribute! Visually, the head is pretty neat too, and I could definitely see someone mixing that in with a ton of different armor sets. After all, it is just a silver metal faceplate and a nicely braided white haircut. If you want it for yourself, head towards the Shaded Castle area of the Altus Plateau at the north of the valley, then head to the west of the outer swamp of the area, and you'll find the Castellan of the Shaded Castle, Malay Marais, who has one of the most difficult yet simultaneously fun names to say out loud. Malay Marais, Malay Marais, Malay Marais. Kill this poor chap and receive his armor set along with a rapier for your own personal use. Fifth today is an absolutely one-of-a-kind set known as the Drake Knight Armor. Maybe it's just the, the thousands of Monster Hunter gameplay hours in me, but, but this feels very, very familiar. Regardless of that, it's absolutely gorgeous. It has tiny little dragon wings hanging off the back, a nice little dragon horn coming out of the helmet, and the scale of the chainmail itself even has a flame design printed on it, which just sort of looks awesome. To acquire it for yourself, you'll need to have unlocked the crumbling Faramazula region, and then progressed along the main path until you reach the Dragon Temple rooftop site of Grace. From here, head down to the next roof, and then down from where the ladder is, and then immediately turn around and jump off the back corner to find a hidden path looping back towards the site of Grace from below. Follow around the outside of this tower to find a chest containing the armor set that you seek, and then you can use the elevator inside to get back to where you started. Sixth then is the blue silver armor set. This armor set is totally gorgeous. By itself, it is a full silvery chainmail outfit with a dark robe over the back. You can alter it to have the robe gone, but the robe is pretty cool by itself. The true glory of this set does come from its ability to mix with other armor sets though. Each piece individually on its own is actually quite cool and easy to work into something like this, for example, which I quite like personally. To acquire this one for yourself, you'll need to set aside a chunk of time as this one comes from farming an enemy until they drop each individual piece. The specific enemy in question being the archers in the consecrated snowfields region over here. The simplest way to do this is to start at the Ordina Liturgical Town site of Grace and head west to the cliff line. Follow the cliff south to find an archer wearing this armor set. Just down the rock from him will be a second archer, and then across the way ahead of you, up another rock, is a third archer. If you have anything to take this fight from your horse, it'll make it a bit easier. These guys are annoying as hell to get anywhere close to. They never stop firing arrows, and their arrows do a buttload of damage even if they don't hit you in the butt. In any case, kill these three, and then if you feel strong enough, there is also one that patrols riding on a wolf nearby, though he is a harder kill, and whether or not he is worth it depends on how easily you can kill him with your personal build, so consider that for yourself. After killing either those three or four enemies, go back to the site of grace and sit down to refresh, then repeat. To make this process faster for yourself, make sure to equip any armor or talismans that boost your arcane attribute, or your item discovery stat, such as this helmet that you get from defeating the Mimic tier, or the Silver Scarab Talisman. After a few rounds of this, you should be able to collect for yourself the four individual pieces of the blue silver armor set. And then finally, a little bonus, the Envoy Crown, because I can't imagine that I'm the only one who loves this giant sack of cloth that covers every part of my head, except for my mustache. If you want it for yourself, you'll need to head to the Halig Tree region of the map, which is done through the Evergale at the top of the town that I mentioned earlier, or Dina, the liturgical town. Once inside of the Halig Tree itself, from the first site of Grace, you want to head forwards and up past the three bubble boys, jump down to the right, then follow that branch forwards until you are above the very thick branch, jump down down to this and then head up the middle lane. You'll see a massive bubble boy at the back and behind him you can find a corpse holding the envoy crown for you to yoink for yourself. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, another six and a half armor sets that you absolutely do not want to miss in Elden Ring. Are any of these something that you just want to wear in its entirety? Are you going to go around mixing up all the pieces together and seeing what beautiful collage of fabric you can create? Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye